Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of Stone Technology. In today's episode, I want to head into the nether, use this empty blaze burner on a blaze, and we can actually get started on making the chromatic compound. We have a few visitors here from the nether, which I have to promptly get rid of and they're gonna get very mad. And at least they won't go through the portal and make the other ones in the nether mad. I managed to locate a nether fortress using the help of the mini map. And our portal is somewhere over here and we are quite a bit away. So we're gonna have a treacherous way back and hopefully we can make it safely. But now all I have to do is find a singular blaze person. Maybe a blaze spawner? I think that might be a blaze spawner there. Yeah, looks like it. So all I need to do is wait for a blaze to spawn and we can snag it. Oh, right here. There we go. Blaze burner completed. I'll also be here for a few more blaze rods and maybe some other stuff that we can see. I don't think we can silk touch spawners. We might be able to... Did I not bring them? Of course I didn't bring them. Cardboard boxes. I, ha I made like 16 of them and they're in the storage system. Okay, let me see if I can get some sawdust in here. Maybe I can hammer down some of the wood that is in the Crimson Forest and see if I can make some cardboard boxes and see if those can pick up spawners. I totally can. I tried it on this bloodshroom stem and it works. So I'll get a couple of these for a few blaze spawners. Like so, 25 should be plenty. We can turn that into six cardboard boxes and let's see if it works. Oh, so many blazes. It does, cool. Okay, so we can cardboard box these spawners. The first chest that I found, let's see if there's any cool stuff. Well. <laughs> That was disappointing. Mostly gold. This is a little bit better. Three diamonds and a little bit of gold ingot. I made it back home and I have a whole bunch of stuff here in my backpack from the nether fortress. Nothing really too, too special, but a few blaze rods and most importantly, the blaze burner, wherever that is over here at the top. And the beauty of having an automatic sorting system is I can just toss everything in. It should go into the right spots. To make the crom pad, <coughs> To make the chromatic compound, we're gonna need a mechanical mixer. And then we also need to turn this blaze cake base, which is made with cinder flour, sugar, and eggs, into a blaze cake, which we can then feed the blaze burner to make it superheated, so we can actually turn it into the chromatic compound with some rose gold, some glowstone, and some obsidian dust. I removed the gear here to pump lava out of the crucible into this basin and we can toss in the cinder flour through this hopper and some sugar and some eggs and it should start making us some more of these blaze cake bases. And then I added another mechanical pump here with a couple of fluid pipe into a spout so I can toss in the blaze cake base and we get the proper blaze cake. And this Looks like it made us a blaze cake base as well. So we can toss that in again and it should make us a couple of them. So we can at least try and run the mixer with the blaze burner for a little bit. I do need to make another basin like so. And then I need a proper place to set this up. We can probably just fit it in somewhere over here, I think. We're going to do something like this. I just added a vertical gearbox, some shaft, and then we can cogwheel into the mechanical mixer, which needs to be placed or the gears need to be placed sideways. And then if we go underneath, we can add our blaze burner. And now I need to make some more of that rose quartz, which I don't think I have. Oh, I do have a little bit. I have 12 of it. And then over here, I have some obsidian dust. And then we need a bit of a glowstone, I believe. So if we toss that in, I'll grab a hopper actually, and we'll put it right over here. And we can toss this, this, this inside, and it should all flow in at around 16 of it. And we should, once we give this guy the blaze cake, see the thing working, hopefully. I made four more rose quartz, so we're gonna get 16 of each and we can grab this glowstone dust out and see the blaze cake burner. Is the mixer spilling? Why is this not working? Superheated, polished rose quartz, glowstone dust, obsidian dust, chromatic compound. Speed requirement. It appears that this mechanical... Ah! The mechanical mixer is not rotating with enough speed. Gotcha. And here is where our precision mechanism is going to come to play. We're going to get a rotation speed controller and we can configure it through some gears and stuff to get it working properly. I will actually put it right over here. And here we can say how fast this can spin. And it's gonna actually spin a large cogwheel that we put right over here. And then we need to flip it up. And then we can do gear, gear, gear. And it's probably gonna overstress. So we're gonna lower the speed. 
There we go. The mixer should be running at the correct speed. Well, let's do like 64. I think that should be plenty. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let me do the math on how many of these things I need because we actually need more than just one. Okay, so we need three times the glowstone and two times the obsidian. So if I I have the... <laughs> my brain just didn't work. So if we do another eight obsidian, it should get crushed right into 16 more of obsidian dust. And then we can actually have enough of that. And then for glowstone, we can do just like a stack should be plenty, I think. Yeah, 48 is what we would need, I think. So that should be good. So let's toss this in, this in, and the glowstone. And we'll toss in the obsidian as it gets crushed. And now we're gonna use up another blaze cake. So go. Well, needs the glowstone. One, two, three. Mix! Awesome. And here we have 12 chromatic compound. I think that's actually just enough, possibly. It might be even more than we need because it's six coke bricks. We need 27. I think we need four per. We'll see. Let's try and craft this, actually. Do I even have enough clay? Do I even have clay anywhere? I don't have any clay. Okay. Time to dust up some water barrels. I made my clay making a little bit faster, even though it's still a manual process. And to get eggs, I just made two chicken bait, waited for the chickens to spawn, and I tossed them over a hopper. So over here, over time, we should get eggs. And I actually can just put in a single drawer. I thought they were gonna drop feathers like they do in some packs, but in this one, I don't think they do. So we can just actually put a regular old drawer over there. Now I think we should have everything we need to make at least a coke oven. Well, apparently one brick is what we're missing. And why is the recipe to make six of these? There's no other uses other than to make slabs and it makes six. So you have to get 30 to make the coke brick oven, the coke oven. And to get the blast bricks, we need a bunch more bricks and a few nether bricks as well. So I can get some netherrack and get that smelting as well. In the meantime, we're going to place our 27 coke bricks like so in a three by three and then grab our engineer's hammer from our handy dandy backpack and right click and we have ourselves a coke oven. And did I even get the quest for immersive engineering? I did. Okay, cool. Nice. I think we also have enough nether brick and brick to make the amount of blast bricks that we need. Yep, there we go. 30 blast bricks. We can also assemble the blast furnace, which will have a home right next to the coke oven. And if we right click this with the engineer's hammer, we really get a hot topic. <laughs> that was badly worded, but we get the blast furnace. We can turn iron into steel blocks. And I think we need charcoal. Oh, you can use charcoal, you can use coal coke, which has the longest burn time, but we can also use charcoal blocks. Okay, so only charcoal or coal coke or pet coke as well. The next step in our mod progression is to get to thermal expansion, which is actually one of my favorite mods in the game. It's really, really nice. The automation is super simple and super good with all the machines, and I really, really love it. And to get there, we're gonna need a quite long progression through immersive engineering. We basically have to make some steel, an improved blast furnace, then we need to make a core sample drill to drill up some samples for mineral and fluid deposits. We can then use the pump jack on one of those oil deposits that we find, and we can pump up some crude oil, which we can then toss in a distillation tower to turn it basically into bitumen, that's what we need, and it can also get us diesel and gasoline as a byproduct. So we can run the diesel generator as well. We might not even need the fermenter and the refinery to run it. We'll see. And then we also turn the bitumen with a coker into pet coke. And you can see the recipe right over here. We're going to need some either chocolate, seawater, or just regular water to turn it into diesel with some bitumen and some pet coke. And the pet coke is used if we look for a block recipe for the pet coke, or actually the block of pet coke recipe here in the arc furnace, if we look at uses, it makes the machine frame from thermal series. So we need to automate all of immersive engineering in such a way that we're gonna get blocks of pet coke all the time because we're gonna need a bunch of machine frames to get even started with thermal expansion. And that is actually gonna have to be it for today's episode. And in the next one, I wanna tackle possibly 
auto saving and auto create processing of resources, I think that is something that we can aim to achieve in the next episode. And with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm really hoping you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and also you can subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. You can also support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.